Hi everyone, Shaky Tan here and Tim. Hello all. Today we're going to be making, courtesy of Brian, a Coleman's lamb hot pot. It's a simple one so I should be able to cook it. So these are all the ingredients we need to make this recipe. It says peas optional, huh? No, mandatory. Peas are never optional. No, let's yeah, have a look at it. Hang on, who's the chef and who's cooking? It might say optional there for those who don't like peas but they don't matter. And you've got okay. potatoes ready in water over yep. there. To top it off. I guess first thing I've got to do is heat up the pan. A tablespoon of vegetable oil. And with that we're going to brown the meat and onions. Bring these over to you, because I'm your sous chef. Okay, so that's the diced lamb. Onion. Now, I feel like I've got too much onion there. It says two medium onions go into this though. See the sizzles. Yeah, she's ready. I get you. No, we you try? No. Give this a nice little brown up to seal the meat. What we're using is diced leg of lamb. It's going to take us two hours to cook this one, which we didn't realise. So we're going to be really hungry and really ready for this when it's done. So this is browning up nicely. Onions are in. They go in the middle. You want to have a look at the powder? There it is. I guess you'd dump it in and mix it. That looks like that's done. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of onion, huh? I know, but the onion will break down and get a lot smaller, won't it? I hope. It's onion, casserole, and <laughs> lamb. It says to do that in a pan and then put in a dish and then mix your carrots and that, but I'm just going to mix it all in that pan. Actually, I'll give it one more mix around. Okay, you got me that time. Got too close to you. It's looking good. Okay, so that's three carrots. Nicely diced too, honey. Oh, well. Sliced. I'm going to put the peas in. These are optional, by the way, everyone. Mandatory. Do you need green in your meal? Actually, I do agree with that, but I don't know if peas would have been my vegetable of choice. Have you ever eaten a raw frozen pea? Have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. No, honey, they're not ice blocks. Nice and colourful with the green peas in it, I have to admit. Oh, do you know what will make this meal? Potato. Yes. Now that looks like it wants to have a swim. Hopefully that thickens up a bit. What does that stuff smell like? It smells like a, um, a herby, watery mixture. Now it says that you needed three medium potatoes, except I got a little bit excited. I had two bigger potatoes, but that's all right. I hope we've got enough potato. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is we've got enough onion and definitely got enough peas. Yeah, you don't want too much on there, do you? Well, I do love potato. We'll load her up. I guess it just sort of seals it in, hooks underneath there like a little bed. I'm getting a bit weary now. It's too many potatoes? Taking forever. It's exhausting, isn't it? Anything on the potato? No. No, really? it's just done a bit that. of oil or paprika perhaps? No, no, does it say to do that? No, it doesn't. It just says cover it now and put it in the oven. I wouldn't have thought you'd cover it with a potato on it. Is How's it that going to go brown? That's a good question. It's covered in the oven. How does that look? Good, let's hope it looks good in two hours time. It's panic in the household. We've got an hour to go and we pulled the casseroles out of the oven. The potatoes are not browning but it has got another hour to go. Now Tim reckons that he should get some of the juices and throw... Oh, he's doing it. I'm going to do it. Do you reckon that's the answer? But then isn't that going to make them soggy and not crispy? No. See, I would have thought if it's not working, I would have pulled the top off it and then left it in there in the last half hour uncovered. Oh, really? Yes, but... Um, when you say pull the top off, the, the lid, you mean? You're peeing on the potatoes. That's okay, it's nice. No. <laughs> oh, hon, I don't know about this. The instructions. Did they say to do this? No. No, they didn't. But comment below if you think I've done the right thing or I've just messed it all up. I think this will dry out now. Do you think it's acceptable for Tim to pee on the potatoes? <laughs> okay. I'll tell you how to pee on the potatoes. Oh, right. We're getting a bit weird in this household right now because we're really hungry. Listen, guys, if you can't cook, get yourself one of these Coleman sachets, mix it up, follow the instructions, and your wife will be impressed. I thought you were going to say, listen, guys, if you can't cook, get yourself a partner that can cook. <laughs> That's even better, actually. <laughs> Recommendations Especially for all of you out there. Especially a pretty one.
<laughs> well, Buffy has settled down for the evening. I think she'll want some lamb hot pot. Now, a couple of minutes ago, I took the lid off because I realized that potatoes have not brown. They're just sort of sitting or swimming on top there. 15 minutes to go. We're dying, we're so hungry. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Why is that? Because it takes too long. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes good things come to those who wait. But what I did, I put up to 250 and put the grill on. I'm going to try to brown the potato top. Maybe the timer's already gone. Is that timer broken? Oh. It is too. Oh. Don't ever buy a Smeg appliances. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Seriously, folks, does it get any better than that? I think it was a good decision to take the lid off and to actually turn up the temperature because have a look at this. It looks a bit yummy. I think we should let it sit for five minutes before we yeah, eat well, it. Well, it's going to be stinking hot, isn't it? I'm pretty annoyed right now. The sous chef forgot the side garnish. Well, they didn't have it on the thing. The green beans. They didn't say that. They've tricked us and they've put green beans. And what have we got? Are you a pitcher person? Yes. Okay. Sure. And what's that picture? <laughs> I will play it. I feel like I've got something in my face. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, you know what I haven't got in my face? What? Beans. Beans. But look at that. That looks nice. Yeah, that's good. Put that one back. Sit for that side. That one's mine. Does it look okay? I just hope the lamb's cooked well. That's well, probably tough as. Well, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to eat it. I I'm going to have to. <laughs> that's a big meal there. Where'd my potato go? Into your <laughs> plate. <laughs> oh, that's right. You had dibs on one, didn't you? Oh, I forgot. Sorry. That's okay. You want some more? No, no, thank you. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Look at those lovely peas. Juicy lamb, crunchy potatoes, succulent carrots, and tender onions. That's what more could a woman want? <sighs> beans, green beans. No, you don't need it. I do. You got okay, peas. let's try it. Let's hope for the best, guys. Wish us luck. Is it going to be tough? No, it's not. Mm. It's actually quite tasty. Mm. It's cooked pretty well. Cooked very well. What's the potato like? That I, I destroyed know. by putting juice on it. <laughs> I get a tad dramatic sometimes. Mm. Mm. Now the pea of resistance. Mm. It's all good. A lamb hot pot. Thoroughly recommend you try this one. Very tasty. The balance in the herbs and everything to it is very nice. While Tammy's chewing hard, she's not liking it. The meat's okay. Yeah. Hey, honey. Yes, she. Where's all the onion gone? See, it's just disappeared. <laughs> I don't mind this one. It's not too bad. I don't think I necessarily go and get it again and eat it again and cook it up for a meal. I'm not going to wait two hours around for it, that's for sure. I would 100% get it again and cook it up for a meal. Oh, it's really? really nice. Would you put peas in it? Yes. I wouldn't change it at all. Not at all. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Except for getting it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything get in your mouth? <laughs> I bought it, but it was empty. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Let us know in the comments below if that ever happens to you. You bring up your fork and there's nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us this. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this wouldn't be possible. Bye, all. Bye. 